I was only allowed to have a job for a short time in 2019, less than a week. And in that time, I witnessed a Mexican-based company engage in completely detestable acts of anti-Semitism, specifically in regards to asset laundering involving its benefits package. While this company is headquartered in Mexico, it has operations in Texas, and it was in their Texas operation I worked. They engaged in completely irresponsible workplace safety abuse and the manners in which they handled the legal uh, liabilities incurred just during the short time I worked there in an alleged quality assurance role were augmented by an understanding that concurrent to the acts of money laundering they were performing in association with my identity in my attempt to acquire employment, including the fact that for the first uh, three days I worked there, they refused to give me a verifiable security badge, so I had to manually uh, check in and out. And when they did finally give me the security badge, they intentionally misspelled my last name so that they could uh, create a variety of illicit transactions and then wipe the record clean when they had to give me a new security badge. Happened concurrent to an announcement by Goldman Sachs that it had finalized a settlement worth $3.9 billion with Malaysia. I never owed any of them anything. They were never entitled to even try to talk about engaging a financial relationship with me. It's absolutely obvious everything they did was completely not only in bad faith, but intentionally misrepresented in order to engage in the most egregious forms of illicit finance. And I think they're just upset because I'm not dead. And so there's no more. You guys ended with the 666. That's apparently what you wanted. You wanted to blame me uh, for some reason. You succeeded. My father's social security number had 666 in it. You guys trafficked me and forced me to get four birth certificates in four years. And the one I have right now has 666 in it. You were absolutely dedicated to finalizing and following through on this perniciousness to such an extent that I literally had to quit because the acts of money laundering you set up on my identity resulted in prosecution for, arrest connected to, theft of military equipment, including night vision goggles and belts, as well as an announcement of a $309 billion settlement with Malaysia. Just so you know, the same time this happened, they had to indict a former head of state in Malaysia. Those two things are not coincidental. See, what you owe me is prosecution of a head of state. Whatever you thought you were trying to obligate me to apparently resulted in you losing $3.9 billion because you refused to be honest about whatever it was. That was your debt. That was what you had to do. That was not about me. And if maybe in any point in the last 20 years, you had been honest about what you knew about what had already been hooked up on my identity since I was a little girl, we'd be in a different situation. That matter is closed. You understand? You invested in turning me into the daughter of the beast. You understand? You weren't going to stop until you proved your point. I am the daughter of the beast. And you only had to pay $3.9 billion for it. 